Hello everybody. Today we are in Capitol Reef and this is a uh, dry slot canyon. It's called the Narrows. It's like the Narrows at Zion. But um, this one's just dry. Um, I promised you guys I'd tell you the story of uh, the lady we met on the trail the other day. And I'll do that right now. So we were coming back from um, Observation Point and we were almost back to the car. I had already made the video that I made for you guys the other day. And um, I was just kind of saying hello to people on the trail. And I come across this one lady sitting on a log. And whenever I pass her, I say, hey, how are you? And she looks up and her eyes are red. And I notice that she's in some distress. So me, I'm like, are you okay? Is, is everything okay? And my wife asked, is everything okay? And she said, is this uh, trail difficult? And I said, yeah, it's, it's pretty taxing. I have MS. And I was like, oh no, I'm so sorry. I was like, no, I said, I don't think this would be a good idea for you because it was hot. And I said, he's a trigger. And my wife goes, he's a nurse. He, he knows what you're talking about. And I said, uh, also this elevation, and you're having a little bit of difficulty speaking, but she was also upset, so she was kind of weepy. I said, um, I don't think it would be a good idea. And so she starts crying a little bit. And I was like, hey, hey, so can we do anything for you? She goes, no. I said, you know what? We're just gonna sit here with you and spend, spend a little time with you. And I noticed that she was sort of splotchy and blotchy. And um, she was definitely in her synthetic nervous system. And my wife goes, he can help you. And I was like, oh, okay, here we go. She goes, he's, um, he teaches meditation. Can he do that with you? And immediately um, she was crying and upset and disappointed, but she goes, yes. And I said, look, I said, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to honor your feelings that you have. I said, this sucks. I said, you know, MS is tragic and it's unfortunate. And your husband um, is going on. Uh, you guys have been looking forward to this trip for a really long time. I said, so we're gonna acknowledge these feelings, these emotions, they're real and they matter, um, but we're not gonna stay in these emotions. So I'm just gonna ask you to, to gently close your eyes and set it attention with intention. Go to your abdominal breath. I showed her how to do an abdominal breath to so stretch your belly out real big breathe all the way out and then I walked her through a guided meditation of the white healing light over the top of her head and flowing down into her you know temples and to her eyes to the roof of her mouth dropping her tongue the jaw softens the breath goes deeper and the, the white splotches on her cheeks started to disappear and I said and your breath comes comes deeper and deeper and deeper and it becomes easier to breathe and I noticed her respiratory rate change and her depth pattern increase and I said, you can feel your heart rate slowing down as the white light goes down your throat and opens your throat, goes into your chest, all into your stomach, your arms, your shoulders. And I said, and it goes into your heart. And we can acknowledge the emotions that we're feeling and the anger, the frustration, the sadness, uh, the, the grief, the bitterness, whatever it is, we can acknowledge those things. But we're gonna let this white healing light and the breath that we're taking into our bodies dissipate that energy so every time we breathe out we're just going to let it go every time we breathe out we're going to let it go we're going to see it and say hey i see you i know you're real i acknowledge you but i'm not going to stay with this emotion i'm not going to i'm not going to live in this place i'm going to allow this to pass through me and move through me and she did that and it was amazing and i said now you're going to notice that your heart's starting to open i said like a like an oyster or a clam it's just going to just crack open just a little bit but when it does, you're gonna notice this white, beautiful healing light that's been pouring down on top of you and through you is also emanating from your heart. And your heart's gonna open wider and wider and wider. And as it opens, it's gonna to start to just spread out around you. And at that moment, she stopped and she opened her eyes and she looked at me and she said, I love you. And I said, I love you too. And she goes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I said, you're totally welcome. And so at that point, she had collected herself. She was calm, she was relaxed, she was peaceful. She had let go of those bitter narrations and stories that were swirling around her. And she had come to peace with the situation with reality as it is. And uh, we stayed with her for a little while longer, made sure that she was okay and uh, bid her farewell. But it was a really beautiful experience. It was a really um, touching synchronicity, whether you want to call it, you know, 
God thing, universe, whatever, just love. But it was really cool to see my wife and I, I engage this person and uh, and become, you know, so um, important in each other's lives in that, that short period of time. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're loving yourself. Hope you get outside and see something that makes you feel small and alive and inspired and full of all. Keep your heads up. Keep doing what you're doing. Your work matters. You matter. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.